Hey guys, welcome in, welcome to this reading. Um, so we have received some new decks uh, to the channel via Stella, the, the great Stella. Um, and uh, they're really beautiful, really, really beautiful decks. There are these two here, the Soul Seeds Oracle. Uh, both of these are by Allison Williams Yee, by the way. But the first deck, the first new deck we have are the Soul Seeds Oracle. And just looking at the box here, I'm like sold just because of the colors. Like these are all my favorite colors here. So the Soul Seeds Oracle, and then we have the Soul Trees um, Ascension deck. These are, I will call them sister decks, I believe. Um, I, I As far as what Stella has told me about it, they're meant to be or at least can be used together um, and I picked up the the second one so I received the soul seeds oracle first and then I picked up the soul trees she sent both of them to us and <clears throat> I opened up the soul seeds oracle I, I picked that up like sometime last week and I looked at it and it was it's beautiful I mean this is the deck right here again beautiful colors beautiful imagery on the decks on the deck here just gorgeous gorgeous but then also look at this look at the silver oh the silver lining you guys i love this i love a deck with some um uh, embellishments on the sides of it it's beautiful right and so i looked at it at first and i was like oh this is cute i love it it's really pretty um, I didn't really connect with it energetically though. I didn't connect with it energetically until I received the second one, which is this one, the Soul Trees uh, Ascension deck. Uh, this one, unfortunately, doesn't have the gilding on the side, but that's okay. It's still a beautiful, 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 look at all the rich coloring. I mean, like I'm a sucker, a sucker for bright colors, right? Okay, so I looked at the both of the decks today and I used them in tandem. And uh, I pulled out a message for myself that was so incredibly alignment. And I was like, all right, all right, fine. I'm sold. Let's use it. <laughs> so what I want to do is um, I want to test out a spread that came to mind this morning. Um, obviously, I want to start with you guys here on Patreon and see how this resonates with you guys. And definitely let me know how, how you feel about this spread. Um, my thought right now is to if I feel time if I feel up to it or if I have the time um, I think I might want to do some mid-month readings for the elements using this spread I don't know don't quote me on that that's the feeling that I get for it right now and also it depends on whether I have the time and or energy but we're gonna test it out um, and I feel like this is cause especially since the message that I got for myself this morning was so appropriate to where I am right now the first thing I thought of was oh my god I have to bring this to patreon um, so we're going to do that. And so what I'm going to do, I do have a tarot deck here that we're going to get some clarity from, but I'm going to start with the Soul Seeds Oracle deck. And I just want to get our um, overall message from the divine God source creator, spirit, our higher selves, our way showers, uh, just uh, what's appropriate for the Patreon collective right now. Thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you to God Source Creator for bringing us together and for helping us with this guidance, providing us, providing this guidance to us. We're incredibly grateful. I'm gonna give this, why did I, I just heard four more, last shuffle, last shuffle. All right, so what message, what message do you have for us right now? <laughs> Look at this at the bottom of the deck, right off the bat, we have the divine. So the divine is here with us. The divine is always here with us. We're going to talk about this in the sip today. You guys probably, by the time you're actually watching this, we may have already had the sip, but um, we're, kind of, we're going to kind of talk about this today, but the divine is here with us. The divine is always here with us. And especially over the last few, well, especially with what happened with me since last week, you know, with that whole car debacle that I got into where I was stranded for, <laughs> for three days without a car. Um, all of that has really been weighing heavily on me, especially this time. It's a big transitional period, but the divine is always with us. And there have been, I know I personally have been feeling like maybe the divine has abandoned me or forgotten about me, but that's not the case. They are always here with us. And so the fact that it's showing up as the bottom of the deck right now is really just confirmation of that, okay? But especially in this moment, they want us to know that we they are here with us and they are protecting us, okay? So let's get into these messages. What's going on for the collective, the Patreon collective right now, please, Spirit? What messages do you have for us at this time? 
What guidance can you provide to us at this time, please, Spirit? For the Patreon Collective. Two more. Okay. One. Oh. Okay. All right. Overall energy is curious. All right. Now, as to, just to say, this deck is meant, these decks are meant to really work with your intuition. They don't give you much of a definition in the book, the, the book that accompanies the decks. Um, so that's how I intend to use this deck, these both of these decks. Now, with the curious card being at the overall energy right now, what I'm feeling with that is there is, in fact, a level of curiosity here. I'm hearing allow yourselves to be curious, okay? You have view, flow, and restore with sage and astral, okay? Now with this curiosity, this curiousness, you're going to have to allow yourself to view, okay? If you're curious about something, if you're curious about life, or whatever, whatever it is you're curious about, you're going to have to allow yourself to view the situation, the circumstance, in order to gain some sort of awareness of it, right? What this is saying here for us specifically right now is there is a level of curiosity within us, whether we want to admit it or not. There's been a lot of apathy in energetic, a, 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 a lot of energies of apathy and not wanting to be involved and just wanting to give up and blah, blah, blah. But there's still a level of curiosity. Or spirit is saying, allow yourself to be curious, to be curious at this time. Allow yourself to seek view. Allow yourself to seek the new. If you find yourself in a pretty strong position of stagnancy, there's a reason for that. Okay, you're going to allow yourself to open up, to allow yourself to see what else is around you other than what it is you are viewing at this time or the circumstances that you are dealing with that is at this time that seem to help you feel stagnant. Okay, allow your curiousness to take hold and view what's going on in your reality, in your situation. View the flow. There is definitely a level of feeling stuck, of feeling blocked. So instead of trying to force something, allow yourself to be curious enough to view how the energies are flowing. We're definitely gonna be talking about this in the SIP today, because that's definitely how I feel. Instead of being resistant to what I truly feel or maybe what it is I truly want, because I do feel like the energies lately have been leading me to let go of the conditioning and allow myself to be more and more and more authentic. And that has been really triggering for me lately because some of the ways that I feel like I wanna be more authentic or I want this authenticity to be allowed to flow are certain or exact situations that have hold me back, held me back in the past or are related to the, to the conditioning that I have experienced in the past that made me pursue things in the way that I have been so far that has really just been met with nothing but blockages and roadblocks. Okay, allow yourself to view, be curious enough to allow yourself to view how things are flowing right now. And within that, and I'm, I'm very specifically, how things are flowing now, not the way that things flowed in the past, not the way that you want things to flow, how are they actually flowing now? And allow that sense of that point of view of the flow that's happening now to restore you, restore to restore a sense of purpose, to restore a sense of meaning in your life, okay? You have also then you have sage and you have astral. So what this is saying here is we really, what I feel like this is saying is we really need to cleanse our space, both physically, but then also mentally, emotionally, spiritually, but also in the astral plane. Um, focus on clearing out your astral plane, the cords and attachments that you have in within the astral, okay, within the energetic space, your energetic body. Allow that to be cleared away. There are attachments that are that, that accords and attachments that are creating the roadblocks that you are experiencing, that we as a collective are experiencing at this time. And in order, in, in, instead of fighting against that 
or trying to maintain those uh, those attachments mainly because it does feel like there is a sense of identity that we have gained from it okay ego death is happening right now you guys instead of maintaining those attachments view what's going on in your life right now and how the energies are flowing and in terms of restoring that sage or cleanse your astral space but some of us this really actually not just your astral space but yes your astral space because it's energetic and so then that translates into your physical space some of us actually really need to clean our apartments or clean our homes or clean our spaces or clean our work spaces or whatnot whatever i mean i know that's been a problem for me lately i've been in such a depression when I get depressed, I don't like to clean. I don't like to do anything, right? That's, I mean, that's fairly normal. And I've noticed how, we'll say it this way. I've noticed how the filth has just been building and building and piling up and has been bogging down my space and bogging up, clogging up my energy. And when I got up this morning, instead of doing the typical thing of getting up and meditating and stretching, blah, 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 I was like, no, I don't want to do that right now. I want to do something else. I want to change it up. I want to switch it up. I want to change up the energies here. And so I did. I got up, I put on something on TV, and I started to clean and get my, my space in order. Okay? There is definitely a need to cleanse. Cleanse our astral spaces, but that's also translating into our physical spaces. Okay? Very much like how disease um, has roots energetically, starts energetically. Some sort of disease or discomfort that you're experiencing in your physical reality has roots in the energetic or the astral planes. And we need to work on saging or cleansing, removing those cords and or attachments, all right? Excellent. Let's get into the next deck here, which is the uh, spirit, uh, Soul Trees Ascension deck. So we were working with the Soul Seeds Oracle first, Okay, and now we're going to get into the Soul Trees, I'm sorry, so, yes, Soul Trees Ascension deck, yeah? All right, let's give this five shuffles, sure. Clarity, please, spirit. Actually, I really only want to give this three. Five feels excessive. So we're just going to give this three, three shuffles. Last shuffle. Here. All right. Some clarity, please. Spirit, what's the next part of this message that you have for us at this time? Prosper is the first card. Attention. Okay. And then be receptive. Okay. Overall energy here is judgment. Ooh, this is so powerful at this time. And that is because there is a judgment call that I feel we need to make at this time. It's very much connected to the energies of uh, yesterday in the sip on Tuesday, August 9th. Today, the day that I'm recording this video is August 10th, Wednesday. Happy hump day, by the way. <laughs> okay, but Wednesday, August 10th. In the, in, the, in, the ver in the episode of the sip that we did yesterday, which was Tuesday, August 9th, uh, we had the opposite, we were dealing with the opposition between the sun, who was in the very beginning stages of Leo at the time, of, of course, on today, the ninth, it's still in the early stages, but there was an opposition between the sun and Saturn, who is retrograde. And I feel like there is a big shift for the collective right now um, in terms of reorganizing or re uh, reorganizing or reanalyzing your life. Um, in terms of who you are now and a lot of the conditioning that we are being influenced to let go of is the conditioning the structures the assimilation we had to be we had to take on while growing up you know from childhood up until this moment in your adulthood and a lot of those things are changing. That's what I feel personally I'm facing a lot of the restrictions against doing exactly what it is that I want to do bec because that's deemed unacceptable by individuals around me or by certain structures, whatnot, whatever. But that is not authentic to me. And so it's all about paying attention to what really is prosperous energy for us. Prosper is your first card. 
in this part of the reading. And what this is saying to me is there's a judgment call, judgment, in terms of what true prosperity is for you. What do you consider to be true prosperity? Not what the social conditioning of society has taught you that prosper, prosperity or prosperous energies or prosperous life would be. What do you think that is? What is that towards you, to you? In, really, what is that to you? Pay attention to that. Do you guys see the spider? Hi, spider. It's probably gonna, it's probably creeping some of you out, but look, it's on this, it's on the citrine right here. Look at that. Hi, spider. Um, spiders have been a big uh, message for me lately. There have been, I mean, there are a lot of spiders around my apartment anyway. I think this spider is literally building a web right now. But that's the point. Spiders are, uh, are really beautiful creatures. They're not bad at all. I mean, yes, there are venomous ones out there that you gotta watch out for, but really, spiders are all about um, the web that you weave. You can either be conscious of that web and consciously build your home or your space, or you can allow someone to weave that web for you. And what I feel spirit is really pushing us towards right now is to weave a new web in terms of the sense of identity that we are assimilating into or, or um, moving into at this time that is guided by or has been guided by this change in personal sense of identity that has been influenced by Uranus's transit through Aries. And now that I started to bring forward the message of this spider, the spider has left this space and is crawling up the wall. So this is actually, this is spirit coming forward to you. Spider is a very good spirit animal right now, is a good spirit totem to pray to or an energy to generate messages from. Spirit is asking us to pay attention. Pay attention to what real prosperity means for you. And be receptive to the answers that you receive there. And then from that point, you can make your judgment call in terms of what is new for you or what you're going to be moving forward towards in, this, in the future, from this moment on. This judgment call is all yours to make. It is not for general society or institutions or gurus or mentors or, or, or seemingly or supposed experts say. That's not it, okay? Sure, you can get guidance from them, you can get a point of view from them, but ultimately you are the one to make the judgment call now. Really, it's always been that way. It's always needed to be that way. But it was necessary for us to go through these circumstances so that we could come to a place where we can finally say, and this very much is probably the way the universe wanted it to, you are so fucking fed up with the blockages and the, and the boundaries and the bullshit you've been experiencing. That's good. Because push, spirit is pushing you to finally say, fuck this, I'm gonna make my own damn decision. Good. And keep that level of intensity too. You know, you, you know what I'm saying? The spider is gone. I mean, it's not gone. It's still, I can still see it, but it has literally gone from here. Literally, and, 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 and I have never, I've been doing readings on this space in this way for a few months now, and I have never seen a spider come up that way that it, and, and show up in the reading the way it did in this circumstance. And the moment that I brought forward the message that it was bringing to us, it crawled away and went back to its corner where it has its nest. <laughs> All right, let's get into some tarot here. Final messages, please, Spirit, for the collective. Final messages for the collective here. Last shuffle. All righty. Closing messages, please, Spirit. Ooh! Look at here. Look at what's at the bottom of the deck, y'all. The tower. Well, isn't that appropriate? Fuck yeah, it's appropriate. All right. Final messages for the collective, please, spirit. Seven of swords. Deception. 
Uh, what I heard is in the deception lies the key. Bam! And the next card is the Page of Swords. The Page of Swords is all about learning, experiencing, and finding shit out. Within the deception lies the key. Pay very close attention to where the deception lies within you. What are the lies that you are telling yourself? And the lies that, that we're referring to here are the conditioning that you are forcing yourself to stay aligned with. What are the lies that you are telling yourself? Yes, you are actively telling yourself this, these lies at this point. You could trace it back to some, in, some instance in where you were taught this or you learned this or whatnot, whatever. It was something you assimilated from external circumstances, whether that be people or experiences. But you have been choosing to stay aligned with it. You have been continuing to lie to yourself about the truth of whatever that is. Okay? It's on you to find that out. Two of Cups. This and this came out in the um, in the reading uh, for the Sun opposing retrograde Saturn on the 9th of of, of August. Um, I just wanted to say October. Maybe this has something to do with a manifestation that could be coming through in October. Interesting. But the Two of Cups here is representing your relationship with yourself. Instead of valuing the relationship with the outside world more, instead you should be value, valuing putting more stock into your relationship with yourself. The Two of Cups. Anything else for this closing message, please? The Magician. The Queen of Pentacles. Yes! The Magician, the Queen of Pentacles. Manifesting something that is in alignment with you, with who you are, with what you bring to the table. And no, I don't mean what you bring to the table in terms of how you can shape and mold and fit that into a nice pretty box that everyone seems to be deeming acceptable. No. What do you bring to the table? And how do you bring it to the table? Bring it to the table into the fullest of your ability. Why? Because it's what you do. It's who you are. It's what you are meant to provide. Manifesting that. The Magician to the Queen of Pentacles. One last, ooh, you know what? I want one last card, but I'm just gonna take it from the bottom of the deck. Queen of Swords to the Seven of Wands as the overall energy. You can't make this stuff up. Go ahead and drop that mic, y'all. Go ahead and drop that mic. Go on and do it. <laughs> Look, discernment, Queen of Swords. I am not bringing any, I am not willing to bring anything less to the table than what is truly authentic and real for me. If you don't like it, if you don't want this at your table, that's fine. I'll go somewhere else. I will find another table, but I will no longer, seven of wands, I will no longer allow myself to be compromised just to be deemed acceptable by you. Period, point blank. Ain't no room for argument there, queen of swords. Uh-uh, baby. It is what it is. And if you don't like it, that's, uh, that is just fine. All I need you to do is say the word and I am out of here. Why? Because I take my value, I take my sense of self-worth from other places, from within me. I take that, I, get, I gather that from within me, not from you, not from external sources, not from what you tell me is right or wrong. Because what you think is right or wrong is subjective. Just because you find it to be right or wrong doesn't mean I do and or have to resonate with that. But that's fine. Queen of Swords. No animosity here. I'm not trying to fight you. It is what it is. Straight up and down. And we could beat around the bush. We could go around this for centuries until we're blue in the face trying to convince each other of one other's point of view. But that is not even necessary, Queen of Swords. Nope. Not necessary. Not to say that your opinion isn't important, but your opinion is just that, an opinion. And while it may work really well for you in your life, that doesn't mean I have to co-sign. That doesn't mean I have to resonate. And so I'm not going to. I will take myself elsewhere. And I wish you well on your journey. I love this. I really love this. Please let me know how this resonates for you. Um, and if you want more of this, like I said, I'm thinking of doing a, uh, a round of mid-month readings or bonus readings in the form of elements because instead of doing 13, all I got to do is five readings, um, <laughs> which is eight less. So, okay, it's still a lot of readings. But anyway, 
let me know. Um, I definitely want to do more with this and I definitely want to work with these decks more because look at this. It's gorgeous. Look at all those beautiful colors. Oh my God. All right. I love you guys. I hope you have a fantastic day and I will see you later. Yeah. Cool. Bye.